Hello, Dominic from BMT, the website for beginners to advanced players. And today, three major points to understand the slice surf. You need these three points. If you're aware of these three points, everything will go very easy. The three points, racket position in contact, the pad of your racket towards contact and afterwards contact, and the position of your ball, which can help it to get an easier or more difficult slice. Now, the moment you touch the ball, the position of the racket, if I touch the ball like this, that ball would go straight to the camera in the other direction. If I hit it like this, that ball just goes straight. Ah, now, as you can see, I did it with the pancake serve because it's easier for the demonstration. But you can serve with the pancake. Yeah? Check out, I will put the link below in this video. Check out the video, it's a great video. Now, for the normal grip, it's exactly the same. The only difference is that I will have a little more pronation. But if I touch the ball in the middle, let's say at 12 o'clock, that ball, that ball goes straight. Now, what do we mean with the racket position? The ball, a lot of people talk about the clock on the ball. You have 12, 1, 2, 3. Now for the serve, the clock is a horizontal line. I made a picture of it to explain you better. Now, the 12 is not clockwise, but it's a horizontal line. Here you can see, this is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, not 12, one, two, three. It's a horizontal line, and we want to hit the ball between one and two. Two will be very sharp to the sideline. Three, the ball won't even get over the net because you hit it too fine, so it goes very fast to the outside so now i will put the ball three times in the same spot i will do it with the pancake to have a good idea and i will do it with the normal continental grip making that pronation towards contact so first i will hit it at one o'clock the ball will start to turn a little bit to the left side so one o'clock would be like this so i will hit the ball like this as you can see it starts a little now I will hit it at 2 o'clock, like this, and as you can see, the ball goes more to the left side. Now I will hit it at 3 o'clock, the ball won't even get over the net. I will hit it at 3 o'clock, it won't even get over the net. Let's do the same with the hammer grip. Yeah. I will turn my racket at 1 o'clock, the ball will turn a little bit. At 1 o'clock, it goes a little bit to the left side. Now on two o'clock, it should go to the sideline. Now, two o'clock, you get more slice. It goes more to the outside. Three o'clock, you won't even pass the net. Also with this grip, at three o'clock, you don't even get it over the net because the angle of the racket is too wide. So, hitting the ball between one and two, that's what we mean about racket head position the moment you touch the ball. It's easier with the pancake grip to have an idea of that position. If you play the normal serve, you have to start to control the pronation, let's say, the trajectory, the path of the racket. The path will be straight. And just before you go to contact, you will start to pronate and get the racket in the right position for the amount of slice you want, one o'clock or two o'clock, or between that, depending. So this is where it starts to get a little more difficult. So. Now, let's check out that pad in slow motion. So in the slow motion video, you will see the racket goes straight up. There you open, you make that pronation, you go to the outside. I will serve a second time and then I will do all the important points by pictures, step by step, the racket pointing down, stretching the arm. So here we go. The racket points down from here on. I will start to stretch to contact. As you can see, the racket is now taking the position. It will be straight up. Here I start to open my racket at the last time. You can see the racket head position is to the outside. There I make the pronation and the arm keeps going to the right side. In the other serve, I started the same way. I will stretch. The racket is still straight. In this part, I start to open the racket. Touch the ball at 2 o'clock, make that pronation from here on, let the racket go to the outside, 
to the net pole on the right side and even a little further so this is so the as you could see in the slow motion video and in the pictures yeah the racket is coming straight from behind the ball but to get the racket on two o'clock i have to open my racket now the frame starts to go in that direction and you have to let it go don't try to follow the ball you play the ball here and then you want to go in that direction you have to let that pronation do his job yeah that's the easy part of the pancake grip you don't have to think too much about the pronation to get the racket in the right position but with that normal grip and that's what i mean you don't have to follow too much contact to get the right direction i know a lot of people they have told follow through too much contact in the forehand also follow through in the back end they're talking about follow through now in the surf with the pancake grip if you want a flat surf it's no problem yeah i will put a video of a flat surf so you can see the difference where the pronation goes because in the flat surf you hit the ball like this the racket still goes in that direction in the slice surf because you change it will go more to the right that's the only difference in the flat surf and in the slice surf that the direction of the racket head will go more to the outside and the moment when you start to pronate there's a difference between flat surf and slice surf so here we have the flat surf it starts exactly the same the power position the body turn and from there on it starts to change here you see i'm in the same position but from here on i start to stretch but the racket starts already to go open you can see the difference here if you watch the flat surf the racket is still straight here now because i start early to open i can get my racket in that position from here on i made that pronation watch where the racket head goes it goes forward it goes not to the outside from here on my arm will follow in the same direction because the racket can go in that direction now the toss for people who start to learn the slice surf and they want to play with that continental or hammer grip i advise toss the ball at two o'clock what do i mean with two o'clock two o'clock will be here now if you let the racket go we just explained that the racket position will be your direction now if you go in that direction your racket will be all the time pointing to the left side so the moment you hit that ball that ball will curve to the left side so let's play a few balls toss the ball at two o'clock and just go in that direction and you will see how easy that ball will curve to the left side two o'clock and this curves nicely to the outside so if you go to toss more at between 12 and 1 o'clock it will be hard to do this because the ball of the position of your racket will be too too open yeah you need to close it a little more so that's where the pronation comes in you have to get the control so to start don't worry too much about pronation get the toss first at two o'clock just go towards the ball and watch how that ball goes to the left side so we had three points become aware of that position no matter what grip you have pancake or hammer grip become aware of the position know also that with the pancake you don't have to change anything just let the racket go because you already had it here you don't have to pronate to the outside nothing with the normal grip you're coming straight from behind but the racket goes to the outside because you're pronating in that sound and to start it's better to get the toss more at two o'clock so get out on the court Try to start with the hammer grip, toss the ball at two o'clock and let the racket go. Don't try to think to bring the ball into the direction. So these were the three points I wanted to show you guys. Thank you for watching. Sferev is a player who slices to the outside at between 170 and 180. I tried to get the pictures as good as well. So the racket was great. Here you see the pronation. The arm keeps going in the direction, watch how short the ball goes in the court and watch how far it goes to the outside. So once again, thank you for watching.